Bradford City burst into life to, of course, produce a result that was made in Blackburn. Of course, the gaffer, Mark Hughes, ex-rover, Big Dick Small with a goal, and Harry Chapman on the wing. Of course, all of those ex-rovers uniting to give Bradford City a monstrous win. But, of course, it's late to know it. Top of the table with three wins out of three. Can they be there after this midweek ends? Midweek games? We're going to take a little look. Next. That's right, folks. Bamford's giving a production video today. We look forward to match number four in this year's uh, League Two campaign. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you're in, smash your subscribe button, bang up today. All things Blabber Rovers related, League Two related, Blow World Cup related. We got it all here, boys. Under one roof. It's a double match week, of course. Games coming at you. Probably Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday action, of course. We're going to be there for those. And of course, we're going to springboard later in the week for match day number five. Goodness gracious me. We're going to keep on being busy right here. So make sure you give us some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Big old shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Of course, let's uh, jump in. See how I got on. See how you guys got on with the Prediction League then. These were the games. And, of course, uh, my picks are on this hand side. These were the actual results. So, Bradford City did get finally their first victory. 2 to win over Newport County. I went with a 1 to win myself. And it was made in Blackburn, of course. Smallwood, uh, Chapman, Ruff Familiar, uh, ex Rovers, recent ex Rover players, of course, and Mark Hughes, legendary in some people's eyes, anyway, as ex Rovers gaffer, getting his first win of the season. Meanwhile, Carlisle uh, drew with Swindon. I went with a 2 1 win myself. Walsall did draw with Steamers. I called it as absolutely called it. Bang on the Schnoskies. Uh, meanwhile, Harrogate, uh, girl, a draw against Crawley. I went with a 1 to win myself. Leighton Orient did, uh, did pick up a win um, over Mansfield. I went the other way. Northampton did beat Hartlepool 2-1. I went with a 2-1 to win myself. Grimsby uh, did beat Rochdale. I went with a 2-1 win, win for Grimsby. So he too shabby on that one as well. I went with Crewe though but the, unfortunately they lost Salford with a big 3-0 win. Stockport County did beat Colchester 1-0. Called it, lads. Absolutely called it. Sutton United did beat Barrow. Called that one as well. I think I did alright, yeah. Tramier did beat Gillingham 3-0. I went with a 2-1 win myself and I went with a Wimbledon win but it was a 2-2 in the end. Let me count these bad boys up because I think I did alright, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, Fiver, 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 six, seven. I got seven. Remember that number. That is the important number here. So remember seven. Uh, see how I did. This is cut the current table as it stands. And as you can see, Leighton Orient are leading the charge. Two points clear over the nearest and dearest. That is Walsall. That is Salford. And it is the chasing pack, Northampton and Stevenage at the moment. Down the foot of the table is Rochdale. Is Hartlepool going down? Uh, I think it's just two teams going down, uh, unless it's been changed. But of course, that is that. Of course, be sure to get your own role. You get involved with the Prediction League, uh, which of course you can put your stuff in. We're going to give you an updated table in a second here. But I want to remind you of the link, Cutley Forshaw's League 2, to get involved. Because if you do get involved, your name could be featured right here in the Prediction League. So 7 was the magic number, and you guys... Oh, we had to be out, did, didn't we? Jimmy Watton and O&A with 8 out of 12. So well done to you guys, of course. Give me a round of applause uh, for that. But I'm up there in the mixer with the rest of the guys because I'm pretty good I'm pretty good at this game, you know what I mean? Been doing it for a few years now. Been doing it for a few years. Uh, but, of course, I'm up there in third alongside Sammy Boy, Richard Stewart, R Alex Weller and the Sheriff, if you're a sport fan, whatever. Uh, okay, so, again, I'm doing a bit of admin here. Uh, so make sure, if you are doing this, and I appreciate you guys doing this, spending a bit of time. It is free, of course, 100% free. But try and, if you do it, on a regular basis, try and get your name spot on. It does add an extra two or three steps for me when I'm cleaning this up, and uh, and and those those things will delay uh, the the process of making these videos because I have to go in, I have to clean everything up and add it because it, make, it creates multiple entries uh, in my spreadsheet stuff. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So if you can, for example, Colm, if you, or Coleman either, number eighteen down there. Next time you come in there, make sure it's Coleman exactly as you spell it. Uh, the same with uh, Alex Weller. He, he should know by now. He's been here for a few years. Appreciate the support. Uh, Richard J. Dawson. I did see your name at least come up two or three times with Richard Dawson, Richard J. Richard. So just try and tidy that up. You'll see what I mean right here, right now. So it's Richard J. Dawson right here, number nine. I'm going to go to the master leaderboard. Uh, Richard Dawson is now this because I've cleaned out to clean it up. So I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. Uh, so make sure you keep it out as is. And this is the master leaderboard now from, of course, match number one all the way through to the present day. So at the moment, it's Alex Weller is O and A. They are kicking ass and taking names. Jimmy Watson's up there with Russell Frost with 18 points. It is, of course, very, very early. So don't get too much. Don't get, don't get excited. Look, we have a prime example right here. Grandmaster Foe. Right there. He should also be on 18 points. But because he's done his weird ass shit here, no disrespect, uh, it's, it's... I didn't catch that one. I didn't catch that one. So... You know what I mean? Just uh, keep it simple for me. 
uh, and then uh, and then it'll make it much much easier. But anyway, let's get into the deep end now. We'll take a look at, of course, match number four now. Of course, over in League Two. So these are the games coming at you this midweek. I believe they're all on a Tuesday. We're gonna jump in the deep end. With the first one it is Barrow. It is Walsall, and it is live. That's right. Of course, not here. Sixteenth uh, of August. Uh, Barrow have played Walsall just four times in twenty twenty. Just one win for Barrow. Nothing for Walsall. Three draws, of course. Barrow. They're winning four and drawing two in the last six. That's sixty-seven percent form for them. Up against the Walsall side, who are unbeaten in the last five games. Seventy-five percent form for them moving forward. Of course. In Barrow, it was a 1-1 draw back in March 2022. Barrow coming into the back of a 1-0 loss to Sutton United. Uh, of course, uh, a busy old week for them, of course, beating Blackpool in the penalties, penalties of course, in the Calabella Cup. Also with a 1-1 draw against Stevenage, big result for them as well just yesterday. Look at the odds here. 31 to 20 is your Barrow, 20 to 10 is your draw, 2 to 1 is your way win. That is, of course, Walsall here. Back in, of course, a 1-0 win for Walsall on the road. Barrow, of course, hit the skids maybe, and Walsall maybe uh, uh, breaking away from the chasing pack and becoming serious contenders. Early doors. Colchester United against Bradford City Colt, of course. Uh, that's right. Wayne Brown in the dugout up against Sparky Hughes. Played each other 16 times to turn four. Five wins to Colchester, two wins to Bradford, and nine draws. Just one win to six of Colchester right now. 42% form. Back to back wins for Bradford. They were heading into this. 42% form for them moving forward as well. Uh, a year ago, Bradford were number three in the table with seven points. Now they're number 11 with four points. So realistically, when you turn it, took the clocks back a year to the day, um, Bradford were much better than they are now under under Mark Hughes. That's, of course, kind of the data. But I do believe, I do believe in this project here. Uh, of course, Bradford, though, last time around, I guess Colchester did lose 3-0 in Colchester. In fact, they haven't scored in back-to-back -back games for them, uh, of course, during 0-0 over in uh, uh, Valley Parade. The odds here, we have 13-8 is your Colchester, 13-8 is your Bradford, 2-25 is your... The bookies cannot separate the two sides. I am actually going to go with a 2-win for Bradford. I think uh, the, the tails are going to be up from that big win uh, against Newport County. And again, will springboard into life, just like maybe Walsh here. Meanwhile, moving for Crawley up against Northampton Town uh, as well. Uh, coming at you uh, this midweek. Played each other 10 times to 11. Four wins to Crawley, three wins to Northampton and three draws. Just of course, Crawley though, back-to-back -back games now without a loss. 42% form up against the Northampton Town side. Uh, just one defeat past four games and then 42% form for them moving forward. Last round, of course, in Crawley it was a nil-nil draw back in August 28th. My birthday, that's right. Respect. Uh, Crawley actually back-to-back -back games now. In fact, three games without conceding a goal against Northampton. So they like playing them, especially in recent times. If you want to actually look back over the last five, they are unbeaten against Northampton, pick it up a couple of wins and three draws. Northampton are do a result. The odds though for this one, 12 to 5 is your, is your home win, 23 to 20 is your away win, and 12 to 5 is your draw. I'm going with a 2 0 win for Northampton Town on this one. What do you think? Let me know down below. Crew, Alexandra, up against Sutton United as well. Gresty Road, I believe. Uh, now, these two signs are locking horns as well. If I can get the bloody data. There we go. Uh, of course, for the, uh, for the first time in a long, long time, of course, uh, crew managed by Alex Mar Morris up against Sutton United and Matt Gray. Uh, crew, back-to-back -back defeats for them. 42% form for them over the course of six games. Uh, Sutton United just one win of six of them. 33% form. They're not the same as they were last year. Of course, they had a fantastic season last year. However, they come into just on the back of a one-to-win of a Barrow. Uh, meanwhile, crew come into just on the back of back-to-back uh, -back defeats, back-to-back -back away defeats. Uh, seven goals conceded out of the last two games. A bit of a bit of an interesting period of the season for them. Now they were looking good at the start of a couple of couple of games, but right now, uh, why on earth is this not closing? Uh, I'm having a, I'm hitting the shitter here. But anyway, of course, take a look at the odds here. We have uh, we have Crew 65 of the victory, 23 10 is your draw, 23 10 is your Sutton United here. I'm back at of course a 2-1 for Crew bounce back and maybe just maybe uh, get the season right on track. Good Gillingham up against Harrogate Town, of course, coming at you uh, this week this mid. Week 50% form for Gillingham, won three, lost three over the last six. I guess Harrogate Town, who just won once in the last six games. They never play each other, these two sides. It'll be the first encounter. Uh, of course, Gillingham did lose to Tramit 3 0 last time around. Uh, Harrogate with a 0 0 draw gets Crawley back to back games now. Actually, three games without scoring a goal, uh, draw, uh, losing the crew, losing the Stockport, and of course, drawing with Crawley last time around. The odds for this Badger as to what is uh, what we've got going on. We have to, even Steams for your Gillingham 11 to 4 is your Harrogate 12 to 5 is your draw. I'm going with the one who went for Gillingham on this one to surprise uh, nobody. And of course, go get a monstrous three points as they move up the table. Stevenage up against Rochdale coming at you as well. Stevenage flying high up against Rochdale, who are flying low. Of course, pleasure the five times, seven, four, three wins to Stevenage, one win for Rochdale, one draw. Of course, Stevenage though, 83% four for them, winning four of the last six. I'm beating the last nine games because Rochdale side, who haven't won, it actually just won once in five for them, 33% four for them moving forward. Last time around though, in Stevenage, it was a one new win for Stevenage back in April 2022. Stevenage unbeaten against Rochdale over the last four occasions, pick up three wins and a draw to boot. Last time Rochdale beat Stevenage was way 
way back in 2004 in the FA Cup. It was a big 2-0 win for Rochdale, and it was at Stevenage. Meanwhile, Stevenage pick up a draw against Walsall. Rochdale with a 1-0 loss against Grimsby. Uh, of course, coming at you, though, they did beat Burton in League One, so uh, for, in the Cup. 23-20 is your Stevenage, 23-10 is your Rochdale, 12-5 is your draw. So, the bookies narrowly giving it to Stevenage. I'm giving it to Stevenage as well, narrowly, also, with a 1-0 win to take it to the house. Grimsby Town looking better, better good right now, aren't they? Up against Carlisle uh, coming at you as well on the 16th of August. 14 times they played each other since 2004. Four wins to Grimsby, five wins to Carlisle, five draws as well. Just one defeat of the past six games for Grimsby. 67% form for them. Up against the Carlisle side, just one defeat of the past six for them. 58% form for them moving forward. Of course, last around in Grimsby as a 1-1 draw back in October 2020. Uh, Grimsby unbeaten against Carlisle over the last five. Picking up a couple of wins and three draws as well. Grimsby picking up a one win over Rochdale. Back-to-back -back clean sheets for them heading into this. Carlisle with a 1-1 draw against Swindon Town. Decent result uh, of the grand scheme of things. The odds here, though, 5-4 to four is your Grimsby. 11-5 is your Carlisle. 9-4 to four is your draw here. Going to go with a 2-0 win for Grimsby. Uh, back in the bookies on this one. And take it to the house. Hartpool up against Tramme. Let's get in the deep end on this one. Uh, that's right. Place of the 60. Uh, 26 times. 3 9 was to Hartpool. 7 was to Tramme. 10 draws, of course. Hartpool coming to this 17% form for them. Haven't won the last 17 games. Uh, of course, Tramme, though, pick up 50% uh, form. Winning 3 and losing 3 over the last 6. Uh, of course, that's around in Hartlepool. is a 1-0 win for Hartlepool back in uh, February 2022. Uh, of course, uh, Hartlepool was stuffed by Blackburn Rovers in the Calabria Cup. That's back on, uh, on August the 10th. And they followed that with a 2-1 loss to uh, Northampton Town. Tramway with a big 3-0 win over Gillingham. Of course, at home, though, last time around over in League 2. The odds, though, for this one, we've got Hallig sorry, Hartlepool coming at you. 13-10 for the Richie. 11-5 is your 11-5 is your away win. That is Tramway here. I'm back in Tramway here, surely. 2-1 win for them on the road uh, to put a benchmark state uh, signing a, 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 a result uh, on the market there. Next, of course, we have Mansfield up against uh, Wimbledon. Covenatcher then, shall we? Uh, played each other 10 times since uh, 2010. Three wins for Mansfield, five wins for Wimbledon. Two draws, of course. Just one win and four, though, for Mansfield right now. 42% form up against Wimbledon. So I do have just lost once of the last five, of course. Uh forty two percent form for them moving forward as well. The biggest oh sorry, the uh the last time they played each other in Mansfield was a one one draw back in uh, September 2015. I was in League Two. Uh, meanwhile, Mansfield coming into this on the back of the 1-0 loss against Leighton Orient. Wimbledon with a 2-2 draw against Doncaster. Uh, of course, that was on weekend's action. The odds here, Mansfield, even Stevens for the Richie 23 10 is your draw. 11 4 is your Wimbledon here. I'm back in, of course, a 2 2 draw. I'm not too sure about the Wimbledon, and I'm, and I'm a bit concerned about Mansfield at the moment. Of course, next, well, hopefully we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have a bit have more clarity about that after this midweek match. Next, of course, we have Newport County up against Salford, flying high as well in the mixer. Uh, play each other seven times, 2019. One for Newport, four wins for Salford, and two draws. Just one win six over Newport County right now. 33% form for them. Up against the Salford side, just one defeat of the past five for them. 58% form for them moving forward. Last time around, though, in. Uh, Newport County it was a 2 0 win for Salford. Salford actually uh, unbeaten against uh, Newport County over the last four occasions. They're conceding just, uh, they're actually uh, uh, goalless. They haven't conceded a goal against Newport County over the last three, scoring five goals without return. Uh, look at the odds for this one, though. We've got. Um, Newport County coming at you, 8 to 5 for the recruiting, 9 to 5 is your Salford, 11 to 5 is your draw. Quite tight with the bookies again, favouring only just uh, Newport County, but I'm back in Salford City at the moment. They look like they got the bit between the teeth. Swindon up against Leighton Orient, of course, uh, two sides who should be in the mixer at the end of the season. Plays each other 18 times, 7 4 wins to Swindon, 9 wins to Leighton Orient, and 5 draws. However, Swindon have had a start, a shitty start to the season, 33% form for them for, the, for them at the moment. I guess there's, uh, without a win in 5 there, Leighton Orient, of course, uh, just one defeat past 5, also 58% form for them moving forward. Last Around though, in uh, in uh, Swindon, it was a 2 1 win for Leighton Orient. In fact, Leighton Orient back to back wins for them over Swindon last season. Uh, of course, Orient coming to this on the back of that 1 0 win over Mansfield. Swindon with a 1 1 draw against Carlisle. The odds though for this one, we have Swindon coming out to 6 4 for the 15 9 5 is Leighton Orient and 23 10 is your draw here. And back in, of course, a 1 1 draw in the end. Point split right down the middle. And I think Leighton Orient will be happy with that one moving forward. And then wrapping up, wrapping up, it'll be Doncaster Rovers up against Stockport County at the keep moat. That's right. Play each other, of course, two times to turn four. Two was Doncaster, nothing for Stockport and zero. Draws. Doncaster just one defeat of the past six games. Six percent for them. Up against the Stockport County side, who've won four and drawn two. Uh, sorry, won four and lost two over the last six. Six percent for them moving forward. Last round though, in uh, Doncaster was a three-one win for Doncaster back in November 2004. That was in League One. My my my! Oh, how have times have changed? Of course, Doncaster pick up a two-two draw against Wimbledon. Stockport with a one-nil win over Colchester. Back-to-back -back clean sheets with James Brown <laughs> in defence. Uh, of course, six to four uh, is uh, actually not the odds. Where are the odds? We're looking at Doncaster actually thirty-one to twenty for the victory. 
11 to 5 is your 7 to 4 is your Stockport County. I'm back at a 2 1 win for Doncaster here. I think they are the real deal. I think they're going to be in the mixer at the end of the campaign. That, my friends, is what I've got for you. Be sure, of course, to get your own picks in. And if I'm right, uh, that, sorry, it is down there. It is an updated table. Will be what the table will look like. There'll be five teams level on points with, of course, 10 with Walsall, Salford, Northampton Town, Leighton Orient, and Stevenage in the mixer with Rochdale Hartlepool uh, in relegation trouble with Crawley, Newport County uh, also looking over their shoulder. That's, of course, my picks. Be sure to get your own picks as well using the link right here, cut your slash lead two, and get your name in lights for next week. And when, of course, when, when I mean by next week, I mean we'll be back probably Wednesday for this updated uh, prediction video for match day number five, I think it is. The games are coming thick and fast in a very, very busy August time. And again, don't forget, we are we are adding up the prediction points uh, for the prediction of the month for the month of August. So make sure you get amongst it uh, until then. But anyway, give it some loving. Please smash your thumbs up for the video. Give it, of course, some loving. Smash the subscribe if you're new. Check out the links down below, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and all that kind of jazz. And we'll be back midweek for the next one. But until then, we're done.